Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Nate Johnston, Redding, California. Revolutionary voices come out. I hear the Lord calling the church right now to come out of hiding in this time of transition of wineskins. Culture has silenced you, canceled you, and muzzled you. The fear of man has shut you down and frustrated your calling. But you can't walk on eggshells and be a bold voice at the same time. We are in a time of holy revolution from the religious bondage of the last era and the oppression from the enemy weaved throughout society. You can't sit on the fence and play politician in this time of history. A swirl of demonic agendas and propaganda of the enemy has been lapped up by the church, but you weren't called to conform, but to point the church back to true north. It's time to stop appeasing demons and calling it love. People need to be set free not kept in chains because we are afraid of narratives. You are called to be a voice of light that clears away the darkness and clears the air. You are called to lead the church into health and out of mixture. To lead the world to Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. I have felt that so many are right now battling this, feeling the roar of heaven trying to come forth but suppressing it so as not to rock the boat. But what if God wants you to rock it? That deep internal conflict, discontent, frustration that you've been carrying will leave as you step out and you were true to what your spirit man is leading you into. The anointing on your life wasn't given for you to play it safe and to play church, but to destroy the works of the enemy and lead the church into a holy revolution. So it's time to put on your weighty mantle and never look back. It's time to live in the fear of the Lord and cast the fear of man into the fire. The deep end of the pool is calling you and your mighty voice. Proverbs 28.1 The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Hallelujah. Let's pray into this word together. In Jesus' name right now, we decree and declare revolutionary voices come out. I thank you, Father, for every single voice, every single voice that feels constrained, every single voice that feels canceled or muzzled, God. I pray in Jesus' name that you would release that voice, release that Holy Spirit roar out of that individual. I thank you, God, that we can speak truth. We can speak it in love. But, Lord, that we are still speaking your truth. We are still boldly operating, boldly moving, God, in the path in the plan that you have for us, Father. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this next revolution, God. This next revolution in the church. Lord, that we won't just play church. That we won't just appease idols or that we won't appease man. But God, we will look and we will seek to please you, Lord. That you, Lord, are the boat. And if we rock someone else's boat, God, it's you doing it. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. I thank you and I call forth every revolutionary voice. Come out of the prayer closet in Jesus' name and take your place. Take your place in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.